Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. This morning, I ended up driving out to an Amazon Overstock store, which I had never been to before. I thought I'd been there, but it turns out I hadn't, so it was brand new to me. And while I was there, I ended up grabbing a bunch of stuff to resell online for profit. And real quick, before we hop into it, you might notice that I filmed this video on a chest harness. I'm going to do a voiceover on it. Let me know if you like this style of video better or worse compared to my normal styles of videos. I would love to hear your feedback down in the comments. But now, check out the haul. All right, so here we are at an Overstock store. For those of you guys who aren't familiar with Overstock stores, essentially they are huge stores that get truckloads of items from places like Amazon or Walmart or Target, and they put every single item they get in these big bins, and you dig through the bins to find the items that you want. At this specific store, every single item today cost me $7 a piece. At my normal store that I go to, they cost around $5, so this is a $2 increase. And what's also different about the store, as you can see here, is they actually give you shopping carts to go around to the bins in as opposed to Ikea bags, which made the store a little more difficult to navigate than the stores that I'm used to. But it did make it nice that I'm not having to drag around the bag with me and I was able to fill my cart up with more stuff than what I would be able to normally fit inside one of those Ikea bags. So as you can see here, the bins that you're searching through are just filled with all kinds of different items. They're not in any specific order, there's no rhyme or reason to them. They essentially just pick up the big pallets and dump them in the bins. There are some really, really good items in here, and then there are some items that just aren't worth it at $7 a piece. But you can come back on later days when the price decreases, maybe on $1 or $2 day, and find some stuff worth it at that point. So as you can see here, I'm starting to pick out a few items, and these are just items that are catching my eye, things that I think I'll be able to flip on eBay or Amazon for a profit. I'm not necessarily looking up items right now, so I'm not really worried too much about the exact value of these things. Like I said, I'll end up putting a lot of this stuff back once I do go through and comp things out, but right now I'm just trying to be fast and pick up things that I think might be worth it. I think this next bin here is the bin that had the item that I think is worth the most. Yeah, yeah, this guy right here, the Elgato HD60 S Plus. I'll go through and show you the comps of all the items that I ended up picking up at the end of this video, but that item right there was a nice, nice score. And one thing I really did like about this store is that their bins weren't full with a bunch of low dollar junk. Like when you go to some other stores, they're filled with things like phone cases and stickers and just junk that isn't worth it, especially on the higher dollar days that you're there. So you're having to sift through all this stuff and it's harder to find the good items where in this store, a lot of the items are larger items or in boxes and stuff. You only have to move a few things in order to see what's all in the bin. So one of the main reasons I decided to even come out to this store today was because of the items that they were advertising on their Facebook page. They were showcasing things like a Nintendo Switch was going to be put out, an Xbox Series S was going to put out, a pair of, uh, I think there was like a pair of Bose headphones that was supposed to go out. And the way that they implemented those in the store was actually really cool. And I didn't know how they did it before I got there, so I wasn't really on the lookout for them. But instead of placing the items in the bins like other stores, this store decided to put frisbees in the bins. Each of the frisbees had a number on the bottom, and then you would take that frisbee to the front and exchange it for the prize. This makes it so that the larger items like the Nintendo Switch and the Xbox aren't just sticking out like sore thumbs in the bins like they do at the other stores. The frisbees were smaller and you actually had to search for them. And on top of that, they didn't put all of the frisbees inside the bins themselves. They had like some scattered underneath the tables I heard someone saying, one tucked in a corner somewhere. So it was almost like a a little treasure hunt to find the really good items and it kind of distracted people from some of the other smaller items in the bins because they were too busy looking for these frisbees. I just thought that was a really cool idea and a different way to go about you know handing out some of these larger prizes. So I don't know if you could hear that or not, but that guy just yelled out across the entire store asking who had a Frisbee because he wanted to buy one of the Frisbees off of that person. He, I actually heard him later on talking and he offered the person $150 for the Frisbee because it was one of the ones with the Switch or the Xbox on it. So that was pretty funny to hear. 
Another thing you might notice about this store is there is stuff under and around the tables and scattered around on the floor itself. Those things are in play as well. It was usually like larger items, like there was a kid's pedal bike, there was a little um, push scooter thing, there was like big air fryers and stuff on the ground. All of that stuff is in play for the $7 price as well. So it was kind of more of like a treasure hunt around the building as well as in the bins. It was kind of a little fun uh, mix up to the normal bins, the normal bins experience. At this point, we've been in the store already for around 15-20 minutes, and as you can see, I'm going through some of the smaller items that I think people might have overlooked at this point, and I just pulled out those two ways cameras, which end up being pretty dang good scores, so make sure you are looking through stuff, even though you see other people starting to check out and stuff, you can still find stuff hidden under all this other larger items. Another thing that I really like about this place, and I wish I knew it before I went because I would have planned my day around it, but they actually shut down the store at 2 o'clock, so they've already been open for a few hours. They shut down the store at 2 o'clock and then reopen at 3 o'clock after they restocked the bins a little bit, so you have two opportunities to get some of the really, really good stuff, which is awesome because most places only do one single day of restocking and then, you know, that's your only chance of getting the good items. So this place does two different restocks on the first day they're open. Open. and then the next day Saturday they also restock as well so they have two different restocking days and three different time frames to where you can get it go in and get the good good items which is which is fantastic so if you guys want to see a video of me spending a whole day here you know I'll hit the morning and the afternoon uh, restocks let me know down in the comments I would love to do that video for you if you guys are interested And now I've kind of done my full pass through the bins. I did like the initial pass where I'm just pulling out as many items that I can. And then I had the secondary pass where I went through and just kind of searched for some of the items that I think people might have overlooked. And you can see my cart is pretty dang full at this point. So I've got quite a few items in there. Now I'm going to go to the side of the store and start looking up and comping out these items to see if they're worth picking up. And then I'll put back the items that I don't end up wanting to get. So after going through my cart here and putting back the items I didn't want, I ended up with around 20 items that I took up front to purchase, and I will show you those all here in a second when I get back home. Thank you. All right, now back home from the Amazon Overstock store. I ended up doing pretty dang well there. Ended up getting about 20 items total at $7 a piece. I'm going to take you through everything that I ended up picking up right now. All right, I'm going to start out here with what I believe is the best item that I ended up getting at the store. This is an Elgato HD60 S Plus. I've sold plenty of Elgatos in the past. They're great little streaming devices. This one right here being the S Plus model, I believe is the highest end one there is. And I think these go for right around 150 bucks used. So this was definitely a nice score. Next is this pair of Cowan E7 wireless headphones. They are brand new inside the box, but as you can see, the box has been open and unsealed. So I'll sell this as open box over on eBay. Then we've got this OTVO cooling stand and charger kit for the PlayStation 5. Here's an item that I like finding at these Amazon Overstock stores. I find them pretty often. These massage guns sell pretty dang well. It's usually a minimum of around 30 bucks. This one is by a brand called Tautronics, and this one right here is brand new in the box. However, I did end up finding another one. This one was open box. It didn't have the actual box with it, but it still has the soft case, so I can still sell it as new open box. And then I actually found another one, so three of them total, and this one right here I think I'm going to keep since it's already open box. And then I have another one that I picked up in last week's video, if you didn't see that one, link will be up top right now, but I think I'm going to sell that one over on eBay instead since it's brand new, and I'll keep the open box one. Next up, I got a pair of shoes here. These are the Nike Kyrie fly traps. I thought they were brand new when I first got them. However, you can see that there are signs of wear on the shoes. So I'm going to be selling these as pre-owned. I probably won't sell them in the box. I'll just get rid of the box and sell them as is. Next up, I got this RDX giant inside weightlifting belt. It is brand new with the tags and in the plastic, as you can see right there. 
This next one right here is a mouse and keyboard. This is actually going to be a personal buy. My mouse actually just ended up dying on me, so I'm going to go ahead and take the mouse out of here and then I'll have a spare keyboard, so I'm keeping this one. And then along those same lines here is a pair of gaming headphones, the K8s from the same company as the mouse and keyboard I just showed you. I actually meant to put these ones back, but they ended up in my cart. I must not have put them back. So unfortunately, I don't think this was a fantastic buy. It should still sell for around 20 bucks, which is a little profit, just not as much as I was hoping for. Here is the only piece of clothing that I ended up picking up. This is a Swiss Tech Performance Gear pair of snow pants. Not the greatest brand out there. It's a Walmart brand, but there should still be some meat left on the bone for me if I resell it. Here's a keyboard that I am going to go ahead and sell. This is a Royal Kludge keyboard. I've actually sold this brand from the Overstock store before. I think it's like a $25, $30 keyboard. I actually found quite a few keyboards there, but this is the only one that I actually picked up to resell. Here's another little nice one right here. This is a Holy Stone HS340 drone. It has a little HD built-in camera on it. <laughs> Look, there's a little piece of a uh, wrapping paper up top. So this is probably someone's Christmas gift that they ended up returning to Amazon. It is open box, so that kind of stinks, but it should still be a 30 to $40 drone. And then I found two of these little Waze cameras. I actually just purchased one of these over on Amazon for my brother not too long ago. So when I saw them sitting there, I knew how much they cost. These are the Waze Cam V3, which is the newest version of them. These here are Gunner Performance Glasses. I've actually sold a couple pairs of these before. They're used for like video gaming to so protect people's eyes against the blue light coming off their screens when they're playing for a long time. These two here, I am not 100% sure on. They're in kind of generic looking boxes. They're just VivLink GPS navigation units. But when I looked them up, it looked like they were selling over at Walmart. So maybe they just came in these generic looking boxes. But I mean, over at Walmart, they were looking like they were selling for around 70 bucks, but I couldn't find any comps on them on eBay. I figured I was just gonna take the chance at seven bucks a piece. And the final item here is the largest one that I bought. This is a Humidimaster ultrasonic humidifier. I usually stick it steer away from humidifiers, but this one is brand new and it had a really good sell through rate over on eBay. There were like 13 or 14 of them sold and then there were only one listed. So I figured I was going to go ahead and buy this one. So, like I said, it ended up being a pretty solid day at a new Overstock store. I feel like I did pretty well there, and I really liked the layout of that store. Even though it was a little more pricey than the one I'm used to, I think the quality of goods was definitely a little bit higher, and I really did like the like Frisbee treasure hunt system that they had for the higher-end items. I think it makes it more fair to the people that are further back in line because they are so much smaller than a big Nintendo Switch box or a giant Xbox box would be just sitting out in the bin. So I think the Frisbee system is a nice little addition to these kinds of stores. On top of that, I really do like that they have three different restocks, one in the morning on Friday, one in the afternoon on Friday, and one on Saturday morning. It really gives people a chance to choose what time they want to go. If you can't make the first one, maybe you can go to the second or third one. It gives a lot more options to a store like this, and I think that's a great idea. So I definitely think I will make the drive back out there at some point. If you want to see a full video of me maybe going to the morning stocking and then do some little thrifting and then go to the afternoon stocking, let me know down in the comments if that's something you'd be interested in. But that's going to wrap things up for now. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to go down low, smash that like button for me, and consider subscribing to my channel for more content just like this. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Till next time, keep on treasure hunting. Peace.